Well, here uh, to see everything that's going on at Children's Square and just learn uh, from some of the people that work here, it's amazing. A beautiful campus and doing some really important things for kids. You know, we started off uh, this morning in Fremont County, which is where I used to be county attorney. And so I had a law enforcement meeting in Sydney, and then we spent some time in Glenwood and then made our way uh, up to Council Bluffs. Well, something like, like Children's Square, which is really amazing and helps a lot of kids and families is so important because when kids are in trouble, we want to do everything we can to help and serve them. And it's just a beautiful campus. It's been here for a long time, helping a lot of kids. Well, stopping human trafficking is something that's really close to my heart as a mom and a prosecutor. And so I introduced a bill that will keep traffickers in prison, puts a mandatory minimum on it, and also provides some, some support for survivors and victims. And that's so important to me. Uh, you know, trafficking victims can be adults, but they can also be children. And we want to do everything we can uh, to support and help victims, help them get out of that awful uh, crime. But also the traffickers need to be held accountable, sent to prison, and they need to stay there. Well, I, th I think the rise in human trafficking, which is happening all over the country, is due to the fact that the southern border of the United States is unsecure and that traffickers are operating freely on both sides of the border. Drug trafficking, but also human trafficking. And that has a toll uh, even in Iowa, where we're a long ways from the border, but we have trafficking right here in this state.